Hey, Nina Lewis here, and today I want to share with you what a typical day is like for me. Well, this week I'm in the beautiful island of Koh Samet, Thailand, but usually when I'm back home in Bangkok, I get up, I don't know, I don't have an alarm clock, so sometimes I get up at 7 o'clock, sometimes I get up at 10 a.m. It just depends on what my day is and how I'm feeling, okay? So I always try to start this day with some kind of movement. Um, I don't really like the gym, but I like to work out outdoors, so um, I like to do fun activities. So sometimes I'll just put on some Beyonce, Beyonce, and dance in my apartment, or I'll go to the local park and go for a walk, or just walk around my neighborhood. After that, I'm usually tired. If a massage place is open, I'll go to get a foot massage and rest there. If the massage place is not open, I'll come back and take my morning nap. So then I'm usually up um, after all that. Uh, after my morning nap, I get up around one or two. My brain doesn't really function after before one or two. So then after that, I take a shower, I get dressed, and I go to my local cafe. Once I go to my local cafe, I check in with my assistant to see what work she has done for the day, and then I send her her daily task. And then it's time for me to get to work. I'll usually go do some social media for my clients. And then if I have a writing project, I'll start writing. And then I'll go ahead and shoot videos if need be. Uh, video reports for my clients or just videos for marketing my business. So basically, a lot of stuff that I do is doing the work for my clients. So it's mostly writing and mostly social media. But right now, my assistant handles like a lot of the marketing that I need to do for my business and all the day-to-day uh, -day tasks that I that doesn't that, that doesn't really serve me. So basically, I'm usually working about three to four hours a day. Don't get me wrong, because sometimes when I'm writing, I have a lot of writing. I'm usually writing about 50 to 60 articles per month. So sometimes I'll be pulling an all-nighter, working 14 hours, working 20 hours. But let me tell you that I still have a lot of downtime. So there's seven hours, in, excuse me, not seven hours, seven days a week. And I usually work, well, like on the weekends, I work one or two hours because... <laughs> I'm a workaholic, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. I love working. That's what drives me. That's what makes me feel alive. And I like serving people. So basically, a typical day for me is that. And then after, um, around what time the cafe closes, I'll go and like go get dinner at one of my favorite restaurants. And then after that, I'll either just come back home, watch a movie, or if there's a friend in town, go visit with friends. Or I'll also uh, go watch a movie at the movie theater or do something Fun. All right, I like there's a lot of sky bars out here in uh, uh, Bangkok, so I'll go to the sky bar and just take in the beautiful views of the city. Okay, so now um, this week, after a I don't know, like two months of like working nonstop, writing like 60 articles, I decided to treat myself to one of the many beautiful beaches of Thailand. And I'm not saying this to brag, I want to say this to you and I want to impress upon you that you can have the lifestyle of your dreams too. Imagine waking up whenever you want, doing whatever you want, serving the clients that you need to serve, or even selling ebooks or a membership site or some kind of service or product coming into your bank account every single day and then you can have the life of your dreams where you have a lot of downtime where you can enjoy beautiful scenery like this. How would you like to live a life like that? And I'm here to tell you, you can do exactly that. And you don't need to be a millionaire or a six-figure business owner to do it. So if you want to learn how and you want to learn how to make your first 1K online, click on the link below and I'm ready to show you how. Until next time, Nina Lewis signing out. Talk to you later. Bye.